Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game with your boy B. Ellis, man. Y'all know what time it is, bro. We back at it with some more content, some more heat. And listen, bro, with this episode of Mastering the Game, we have some adversity, right? I hope you guys didn't expect for it to be this long journey where everything is all peaches and cream and we don't have any adversity. No, 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 no. Every great journey, every um, goal that is achieved has obstacles, it has adversity. And you have those who overcome it will prevail, right? I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but it's, it's facts. It's facts, you gotta overcome adversity, man. And we have had our first dose of it. Um, I think it's gonna be a really good episode for you guys, man. It's a lot of things that I feel like we learned that we're gonna get better at and we can apply it throughout the rest of the season, bro. So listen, man, adversity strikes everybody. It's about how you respond. Without further ado, man, let's get it, man. Adversity is merely a test. A test to see whether or not you truly want to achieve a goal or are you just a talker. Very few actually are able to rise to the challenge of an obstacle and overcome it. But those who do find themselves on the right side of success. The question is, who will we become? What is our DNA? I honestly can't answer that right now in this moment. But time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game. The brothers have found themselves right in the middle of adversity, and you get a chance to see it all. You also get a chance to see if we overcome it. Let's get to work. You ain't got a lot of clips, Jason. What you was really doing? No cable. It was. Oh. Man, walk, man. Hey, that was like she was really doing. Sound gang. Do it like a ninja. <laughs> you said that, man. Shit. And hungry. <laughs> bro, you got some old drip, bro. You, you look like. Alien. You look like Morphe. You look like that nigga, um, Mega Mind. That look like Mega. That nigga look like Mega Mind. Now you wanna lick your. That look like Mega Mind, huh? Shit, let me see the old screw. Like this part. Let me see the old screw. But you ugly. God damn. Boy, you dead. He already established. He wanna be just like his dad. You're not my dad, you're my uncle. Oh boy, that's true. Because you said you had four steals in a block and he, he was hating. I did this. I was playing. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Say cheese real fast, bro. I got you, sure. No. That boy got some new shoes and think he clean now. I still need <laughs> You're recording everything. That's what he's supposed to do. Exactly, like, bro. Stop hating my bro. I'm gonna talk. Let me see what you got on your feet. The coaching generic one on one. I got two different modes. Like, I got BS and I got Coach Off, Mr. B. Bro, you supposed to be putting that shit on, bro. You're not supposed to be dressing like a regular. Bro, this is like Coach Jet, bro. That's what, I, like, that's what I said, like though. That's what I said, though, my bro. He, he like, yeah, he stayed one. Coach Jason is like stage two. Okay. Edo, but why, why he trying to steal your swag, though, my bro? With the dunks, my bro. Because he know I be fresh, bro. He know hey, I be. Listen, bro, he know I be fresh. Biting nigga swag? What that is? What you said? Vine couldn't come. Panuski had work. I needed somebody to record, and I got my young boy. No, we don't need him. We don't. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The real star of the team. He's like so cool, my brother. Like, why you don't juice around and nothing, my brother? Why we gonna juice before the bro? You too. You too grown. Yeah. 
<laughs> make sure that we locked in. Make sure that we are crashing boards. All right, make sure we're blocking out. Biggs is active around the board. Make sure we put a body. We don't just stand and watch so we can easily get rebound. All right, when we get the ball, let's push. If we ain't got nothing, let's get set. Let's run through it. Hey, we're just staying in, our, staying in our motion. All right, four or five men. All right, I may call it. Tyler's I am. Right, somebody else may call it. Listen, listen. Come out and be us. The score will take care of itself. Bench, be ready. You don't know who's going to get called on, when you're going to get called on. Might be 10 seconds into the game. Might be fourth quarter, 10 seconds left. I don't know. You play like you practiced yesterday, flying around, locked in, engaged. Celebrating your teammate, cheering one another on. That's all we can ask for. Alright, that's all we can ask for. Do those things well. Do those things well, do them hard, do them to the best of your ability. Alright, we're gonna win this thing together, not individually. Brother through Brummy, one, two, three, brother! Hey, stay off the rim, come on. Yeah, sir, yeah, sir. Ball, 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 ball. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Close out. Turn no time it is. Close out. Close out. Close out. Good oh. cool. Let's work. Let's work this. Let's work this. Let's work this. Let's work this. Good. 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 Just watch the ball going. Yeah. Hey, back up. Back up. Back up. Stand half. Stand half. Stand. Oh! Hey! Hey! Hey, right from the damn start, let's fly around. Hey, make some noise in here, fellas. Make some noise in here. Hey, be aggressive from not from the jump. Be aggressive. Hey, aggressive on D. Alright, be in the gap, be flying around, be aggressive on offense, push the pace, let's get some work here. Hey, let's go, let's go. Traveled to McDonald 35 um, for the Hoop Fest, and we played Bonnable. And to be honest with you, man, we came out slow, lazy, lethargic. Any adjective that you could think of that indicates lazy, that is the way we came out, bro. And to be honest with you, it was kind of a total flip that, uh, than what we had to practice. And I'm trying to figure out how do we come out like that after having such a good practice the day before. And we got to be better. Like, that's not good enough. That's not winning no state championship the way we played against Bonham. We wasn't sharing the basketball. We wasn't in the right spots defensively. We wasn't communicating defensively. Like, we didn't do any of the things that we work on every single day against Bonham. And if we want to win a championship, let alone win a district championship, we can't have these lapses in games that we're supposed to win. Like, Bonham wasn't better than us. If you, ask, if you give me any player on Bonham, I'm choosing a player from Northside over any one of them. And I don't understand how we come out so lethargic and so lazy and, and not ready to play basketball. Maybe that's us on us as coaches. We got to do a better job of getting these guys ready to play. But we got to have some leadership on the team, man. Somebody has to grab the team by the shoulders and, and like, hey, bro, stop playing around and let's hoop. Like, we got to stop. We can't keep doing this. We can't keep losing to teams we're supposed to beat or playing bad against teams we're supposed to beat by 25. Like, I'm, we're not doing this. Like, this can't be our, our identity. We can't be okay with playing Zachary close, right? And, and, and the guys need to learn from that. 
Like we can't be a team that's just okay with with being in the middle of the pack. We have to separate ourselves, right? And I think that's the biggest lesson we're gonna learn from Bondable Man. Like we have to play at a high level every single night. I'm trying to win a state championship. Hey! Go finish, boy! Hundred dollars, right. and he cut my hair. Right. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he paid us a good hour. He gave me two dollars just saying like, "Hey, car, first cut you in there." He gave me two dollars. He like, "Hey, car." I tried to pay a nigga with my cuts. And he said, "Nah, you good." What? <laughs> he paid me to cut my hair. Ain't it all? <laughs> trying to go stupid. Medusa. Medusa. Oh, he said no. Oh, 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 Oh, I'm talking about moving here, right? You know how, like, you ever watch, you ever watch High School Musical? You ever watch High School Musical and they're like that? <laughs> <laughs> In the first half against Liberty, um, we played really well in my opinion. Like we, we brought it defensively. Liberty had a really good player number zero, but your college scouts came and watched them and every locked them up, man. Like every was locking them up. And to be honest with you, defensively it wasn't a problem. We just wasn't making shots. Um, guys gotta get in the gym and take this seriously. Like you can't be a guy that just 
only get shots up in practice. You may get four or five shots in practice in a game situation. So you gotta get in the gym after practice and get shots up, game shots up, game like free throws up, right? Put yourself in that position to where it's pressure and you getting those free throws up. So we gotta, we, we understood what was at stake being our first home game. So for the first half, man, I was pleased with the way we played. I was really pleased. Now, I'm on the rest. I know they're holding, grabbing the holding for the court. All right, we're going to get a lot of free throws right here. When we get to that line, take our time. Six. All right. Six. Six. And I'm making a ton of shots. We got a secure board. Hey, it's first three minutes. We'll be down two. One. Down one. 24, 23. Down one. Perfect. It's first three minutes. When I like it then, Saturday, punch him in the mouth and don't let up. Let's get here, start to shuffle a little bit and see the charge before it comes, all right? We're going full speed, we're going to this floor immediately, or we're going to this floor to the two feet, or uh, tough mid, we're going full speed into it. Slow down, feel it down your back, take your time, you might have to kick to right, kick to turn, or kick to ever somebody, take your time before you get to that. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go get some little shots up. In the second half, y'all, we came out on the run, right? We came out first three minutes, we punched Liberty in the mouth. We came out, um, I think we went up six, I believe, with like four minutes left in the third, and then Liberty went on the run, right? We had a couple guys getting foul trouble, so, I mean, to be honest with you guys, like, we didn't make shots, right? And that comes down to us getting in the gym. Get in the gym consistently, man. Like, you gotta love this, bro. You can't just be off and on or only getting shots up in practice. I can't stress that enough. You gotta get shots up, man. You gotta trust your jump, and the only way you can do that is by getting those reps, right? And Liberty was getting a couple offensive boards. I think we lost the battle on the boards, but defensively, we brought the effort, all right? So I think this is something we could build off on. I'm gonna continue to say that. It's November, right? And although you do wanna win these games, you also wanna build upon something and get better every single night, right? Because for the long haul, you wanna be peaking at the right time, right? And I, I believe these guys can do that peak at the right time so it's just about us making steps towards getting better trusting your teammates and, 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 and playing defense at a high level you know what I'm saying you gotta have that chemistry if you want to win a state championship man and although well we're at two and three now we're at two and three now and we just gotta get on the roll man we just gotta find ourselves and continue to fight like this is this is what we call adversity here man gotta keep moving <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mashing the Game, man. Uh, like I said, bro, we got some adversity, man. We gotta keep pushing. Gotta keep pushing, man. It's two and three. We're in November. We're two and three. We're in November, man. We got a whole bunch of games coming up, man. And we just gonna keep learning, keep building, bro. Like this isn't, you know, you know, like you kind of make a big deal out of it at the moment, but then once you realize, like at, down the road, when you look and see how far you've come uh, or how far you've grown. Um, through this point, you're gonna be like, man, that was that was a learning experience, right? And I feel like this is what we're going through right now, a learning experience, and we're getting better every single day. Um, guys, we're going to Mississippi Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to record that, but we're going to keep building, man. Big Dave Classic next week. Make sure you guys come through. Man, we play Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. 